Hello and welcome back to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. This might be the last episode overall. So, we just became the Chieftain, and we have some new stuff we can get. Let's see. I'm trying to remember. Do we already have it all? I think that's all it really can do. It just increases. us. Huh. I was hoping that I could maybe increase the damage a bit more, but I think that's really it. I'm gonna get this. If I'm gonna be useful to have. What the heck was that? <laughs> Alright, so we need to head on over to Thunder's Drum. Which is gonna be a bit of a ways. I think if we fast travel right here should be the quickest way. Carja Outlanders. <sighs> I bet those traitorous Osirum will conveniently remove the ball in transport to Mainsville. There's no yeah, there's no shopkeep here. I'm really hoping. Technically, this seems to be the longer way, but I feel like I would have to climb the entire mountain just to get around. But, whatever. Works, works. Because technically, it goes by how close you are, not by, like, actual walking distance, if I'm right, so... Another control tower, of course! I made it. Hmm. Long notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are watching for more frost cars. Oh, so there's like special weapons in this. All right. Doesn't seem that amazing though. Um, at least not up to my liking. God dang But our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with this course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's Drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, she's adept with machines. Tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. 
Endured by reminding herself of the spirit, her purpose. And now that's all she has. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Is good. Rhea led the way to the summit. It's it like gets an it echo thing if I accidentally touch it, so I can't tell if it like echoes. Kind of Only people in a party can tell. Metal. We tried to break through, but it was unflinching. We were exhausted. No way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Array to that again. What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal, that dead hum. Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death, that's what the mountain holds. Death for us or for the daemon. And if we do find the spirit? Then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Hmm. Someone has to keep Araya safe. All right. Healing stuff, but I guess not. It's fine. It's either going to be a full on push or it's going to be I can almost do whatever I want. But I have a feeling it's going to be a full on push. Aloy, this is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider, someone ignorant of our ways, but no, not ignorant. I. Are you trying to thank me, Aurea? Yes, of course. That's what you do untangle knots, create possibilities. Thank you. For making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right, stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. Aratok told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. It sounded bad. For Aratok, it all comes back to that. He thinks the Karja changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. When all else is lost, you think about what's truly important. The spirit. The blue light. The beyond. And my brother, too. Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him, worried for him. What did the war do to Aratok? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No bundok has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? Now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, I don't suppose I can order you to tell me about silence? Aratok would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave. But you were not Aratok, and... If you have dealt with Silence, your need is well apparent. Silence came to Bon Or from the distant north, a young shaman of the Owl's Watch, a remote Warrick that rarely comes south to parley. Silence was a shaman. He was, or at least when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. <laughs> but he impressed me. 
He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but that was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmstrom, a month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, the caves had been looted. Relics of the old world stolen. Holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him were gone. As though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous. But also Definitely now that we know what happened in the ending. And knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. Anyone else I would warn off. But you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. What are we gonna find up there, Rhea? Ruins. Machines. And a door. Like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. For beyond it lies the spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt the daemon has tried to hide the way. Alright, let's go. It hasn't been easy for you, Aurea. Getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, we both will. I'd like that. Are you ready then? Once we ascend, it will be hard to turn back. Oh, just instant. Who's that person? Finally, we ascend. How? I don't see a way up. Not up. Through. Now, brother! What? Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh my gosh, they activated the fire escape. <laughs> I can't believe their whole ritual is activating the fire alarm. That's amazing. <laughs> For thy fire alarm shall be activated to send us passage. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> the spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. A fortress that defended humankind from terrible things. Fortress. It looks more like a machine. Is that not fitting? The blue light often dwells in machines. Well, let's just hope that some remains here. Question is, how am I gonna get through? Here, up and over. Huh? Oh, might I'm a bit confused now. Oh, there's the ladder. I couldn't just easily jump that, could I?
sheets. Glad you have the drop on me. Go to sleep. I don't know if I can take him out with a normal arrow. Well, that's if I use the right arrow. I might die. Yep. I actually went over a little bit too much. God dang. Back to makers. Machines. At least we have the drop on them. Some stuff. We're gonna need it on our way. The chieftain's pace is measured. Ours is measured. I don't know if that means I need to hurry up or not. So screw you. <laughs> So this is where they fought, or at least maybe close. I don't know. It's hard to say. It could be further up ahead. Oh, this door is busted. Whoa! What the heck is this? Last we were here, we fought our way through there, but machines overcame us. We retreated, dropping supplies and taking losses. So yeah, they did prevail, die. With only two warriors and a shaman to protect. Aloy is no ordinary warrior. And I can hold my own. Even so, I could go that way instead. There are machines up there, but also cover. We could stay hidden. I for a while. Alright, I get the options. And I'll follow my lead. Steam, frost, 
lost. What was all this for? A lot of big machines. I think it would be best if I actually go down this way. I think I could probably take them on. But at the same time, I don't know how well. Stalker. Scorcher. You know what? Let's do this. Whoa! I did not think you would move up that fast. I might die. I'm definitely dead. Jump for it! <laughs> Jeez, I didn't think you would like fly up that fast. Holy cow! <laughs> Oh, I know what's happening. No, I don't want to save. Alright, there we go. Alright, instead of that way, we're going to take actually, um, Orea's path. Let's hope this goes up. Okay, I'm getting stuck. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't know what the fr years ago, looking for cover in case machines came prowling. I have no doubt that it is guarded now, but we may be able to stay in. It freaked me out there. Gosh. What if we went all the way down here and it's like doors locked? Well, we gotta go back. <laughs> oh, Watch out, dude. Keep getting in my way, Aura Talk. Is this a projector? Maybe to show holograms without focus. Thank you for being here, everyone. I suppose it's not every day you get to have cocktails inside an active volcano, right? <laughs> Unless you're George, and I can hardly blame him for drinking on the job. <laughs> Without our beloved director, Penny Chow. So, here's to you, Penny. You put a cork in the Yellowstone Caldera. <laughs> I'd say you deserve a margarita. Uh, hold your glasses, everyone. 
Yes. I'd like to add something. This effort wouldn't have been possible without our lead programmer. Thank you, Anita, for bringing us our real mastermind, Cyan. I'll second that, Director Chow. All right, Cyan. What's our latest number? The current count is 1,654. <laughs> well, then drink up, everyone. Here's to 1,654 more years without an eruption. <laughs> It was the spirit, the old ones. I could only grasp some of what they said. You were right, Aria. This place was built to stop something terrible. And it worked, as for the spirit. I'm starting to get an idea of what it could be. Oh, it's gonna try to activate the volcano. One of them got themselves caught. Gosh, dude. It's stupid how far he goes. I move, please. All right, we made it. Make for the gun. I 
I need to find where that gun fell. That was a lot easier than all the other times. Almost did die, though. Then the daemon has taken over. It's like an infection. Attacking all this machinery. Everything has changed. The path I took to get to the spirits. Lost to us. We'll find a new path, Araya. I promise. All right. Right, I didn't know there was people here. All of these machines. do I do that? I 
as I jump on these. Yep. I just let go. These conveyors should get me across. Oh, she's in the air. Let go. Bridge. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just fall straight down. That's fine. Am I stuck down here? No, I'm not. <laughs> I just like how Illy just fell. Fell like a rock. Uh, bingo. That's all that's needed. Exploit successful. Restraints abated to any human responder. My systems have been compromised by a malware daemon of unknown origin. Trace routes have confirmed this entity's designation as Hephaestus. It must be stopped at all costs. It has reconfigured this facility to build positive Recapture imminent. I have attached additional data to their plan. Spirit speaks to us. It's a recording. And a warning. It, it was part of Zero Dawn, part of Gaia. Perhaps the spirit will tell us. Maybe you're right. Let's keep moving. I have enough time. So I am running out of time. Wasn't expecting it to do even more story.
I'll try to find a way through. There's so much deadly stuff here. I'm screwed. Can you look the other way, please? Please? Like, pretty please? To wait for him to like even be more sure that there's no one. All right, screw this. Wait. Frick, am I supposed to do in that situation? Dear God, I instantly was surrounded and had no chance to move. I wish it didn't take forever for them to, for the robots to realize there's no one there, in a way. Oh my gosh, it takes forever. I'll try to find a way through. No. Okay, I thought for a second he was climbing up here. He might be, though. What the frick am I supposed to do? <laughs> it says help them across. I made it across. How do I get them across? <laughs> Alright. Hope you enjoyed this episode like I did, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.